Man, what a view. <laughs> Alright, hello everyone. I'm gonna show you how to do the Sage Frake skip. This skip will get you to Sage Frake cell without having to get any of the fourth floor keys or third floor keys at all. This is really nice if you want to go for a magic build, but say if you've done the coffin skip and boost it all the way down to the first floor to skip the whole level like I showed in this video. You don't have any keys that you need to get to where you are, so you want to keep the same and not collect any of the keys, you can do the skip. You will, however, need the special key to his cell door. Currently, we don't have any way to actually phase into his room yet. Maybe one day, but for now, you do need it. This skip is very hard, I will say. I'll try to explain as best I can. But it is, once you get the idea down, it's not the worst ever. It, it's definitely something you have to get used to, and being out of bounds is definitely very confusing at first. Imagine this will be mostly helpful for the speedrunners, so hopefully that helps to get that consistency. So you gotta do this all the time if you do the magic routes. But if you want to try it out yourself, feel free. Firstly, we're gonna get to position, obviously. This is where you're gonna perform the skip. You're gonna do it next to this cell right here. You're gonna reload. We're gonna use something similar to what we did in the coffin skip video where we actually clip into geometry to get boosted up. You're gonna need to clip into this cell bars right here. You're gonna get boosted up and you're gonna, you're gonna veer a little bit to the right. You're gonna reload again. Now you're a little bit above the fourth floor. We're gonna drop down a little bit and there's gonna be this bell that's gonna pop, the romantic or barrel. Once you hear that pop, you can quit it again. And we're now on the roof of the entire Lacha level. You're gonna walk in a straight line along this lip that connects the two floors. I will go into more detail how to do this every single step a little bit further. I'm just explaining the general gist of it first. Then you're gonna drip down here. Open this door, you're gonna go down to the third floor where Sage Freak is. And there you go. So you will need a special key as said. So make sure to have that before we get here. Wait, let's break it down even more now. Okay, so as I said earlier, you need to reload first. In this first bit, what you want to do is you want your left shoulder to be clipping into the gel cell, but only that much. Do not center yourself on the shoulder and keep moving forward as you do so. I take a little practice to get it down, but you should do it. Once you get boosted up, you want to move to the right, but keep moving forward as well. Forward or right. And then when you spawn in here, you want to want to move immediately 45 degrees forward left. And keep moving that way. You're going to be caught in this little corner right here. That little lip that you should be pretty much walking up against that. Then you're going to be lowered down. This barrel is going to help you get boosted up. Once you hear that barrel pop, you need to quit out immediately. And throw it again in a successful attempt. Just as soon as you hear it, you should be able to get boosted up. Once the barrel breaks, it does stay broken, even if reload. So, just a note. And you should be up on top. Once you're on the roof, you actually can fall off. So, try to stay in the lane path I was talking about earlier. What I like to do to do this little run fast is I line my character's head with the with the rail from the other side and then just run forward as in a straight line as possible. And then right there over there is where you can get the sharpness ring. You can't get it now because you need the fourth floor key. And as I said before, just open this cell. And go down to freak. I do want to show real quick. If you are a magic build, here's how you can get the sharpness ring with the same skip real quick. You can just drop down here in the same wing, but just do the opposite side. And then grab the keys, the 4F keys. Careful this mind flare. And then you can kind of just go the normal way. And yeah, here's the sharpness ring. If you are going for magic build, I will grab that before you free Sage Freak or alongside it. 
do want to also show that you can actually do this a little bit faster when dropping down the freak without even opening this up. You can drop down to this slip right here. But it is a little tricky, as you can see, to actually end there. We'll take a little bit of practice or lining up. You can reload pretty quickly if you're speedy with your fingers. <laughs> Although, as you can see, you can't be shot off from there, so be quick on your lineup. They can jump down to this ledge and then roll on top of the railings here. And there's the freak room. Now, I do want to show a few things that can go wrong while doing the skip that you're probably going to see a lot. But I'll show you how to fix them or how to reset the counter. So, this first one, after the first reload, if you just don't align well in the in the bars and you just your head is right in the middle of it, you are stuck here. You're gonna get boosted up, and your character is just stuck. I'm pretty sure you can't fix it. If you want to give it a try, try reloading here, maybe seeing where you land, and see if you can readjust. But if you might just need an exit bind. Okay, now for this corner, you can fall here. You fall like a little bit early. It's probably because you don't start moving right away. And right there, I next you'll bind because I'm not next to the barrel, but I, I you can actually fix it. I, I actually kind of fix it in the next attempt. I'm like behind this little like pillar. Then I try to quit out and see if I can just adjust myself because I'm still above the barrel area. So you still want to be above the barrel so you can bust into it. So all I did was reload so I can, you know, reset the geometry again and I get boosted up again to the barrel. So you may be able to fix it if you're there. And then just do the skip again with the barrel as always. And you're on top. So, if you do get stuck, I've been saying, and you can't figure out a way out, just use the next bind. Okay, not the barrel itself. It can be a little inconsistent. So, that seems like it would be a good attempt, right? I cured out pretty much immediately. But since you are moving as you do this skip, sometimes it doesn't let you in the right place. So, some of you just spawn back in, and you're just kind of stuck here with the barrel there. But honestly, it's not that big a deal. You can try to like quit out again or you can try to like wiggle around to see if you get boosted up. But you will actually get boosted up eventually. I'm just gonna let the game boost me without me doing much. Just to show that it can happen without any quit outs at all either. And there we go. Eventually just boost all the way up. Hardly did anything. Just kind of stood there, maybe wiggle around a little bit. But let the game do it, the job for me. Okay, and lastly for things that can go wrong. This is what happens if you actually fall off. Especially in this little segment right here. Be between the two wings. There's definitely places where you can like fall off and maybe land some things. Sometimes you can fix it and go back up. Because you'll, you'll actually be on something. Even if you try to fix it, you can like walk off the other side. The right, falling off the right is not too bad. If you cut off fast enough, you shouldn't die or anything. It shouldn't mess you up too much. The left is a lot worse. As I'll show here, falling to the left can just be disastrous in all honesty. Right there, I landed on some like archway. And then while trying to fix it, I just landed between like two walls. There's like these red lines. I don't even know where I'm at right now, in all honesty. <laughs> I have no clue. So, you ever just stuck somewhere like this? Just, just, just next to your bind. And that is all. Again, this skip is very hard to get down consistently. Even these days, as you're, I'm she. <laughs> so, this is my PB. I always show that my PB at the end of uh, the video is what my current PB is. And you'll actually see that I mess this up a lot. And this was only like a month ago, I don't want to say, after running this game for four months or so. I mean, I did the steps right, but that barrel segment, like I said, it, it just didn't go well for me. And, you know, it's a little bit inconsistent. Like, it might be just like more so about where you actually hit the reload and where you are standing as opposed to the barrel being related at all. But it's a good indicator is what the barrel is. But it's not perfect, as you can see. Anywho. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helpful to anyone who's watching a speedrunner or casual player like it it should it's an interesting skip nonetheless to just display and show and explain how to do. If you want to see more of this content, please consider subscribing. You'll see a lot more tutorial videos like this in the future. 
And if you want to see speedruns live, catch me on Twitch. I speedrun pretty much three times a week, I want to say, for the most part. And that's where you find me at most of the time, just in general, just in the week. So, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.